All right, I committed to that way too hard, yeah, and, I, and were, I regret it. You are dancing on the chair. I regret it. Yeah, you're out of breath. Yeah, I can, I can tell. Yep. Uh, I like, I like the dance though. Oh well, thank you. I appreciate it. You're welcome. Yeah, thank you. But yeah, I'm out of breath because I am not, I'm not living my healthiest life right now. No. Yeah. No. I'm a. You know, how people go on health kicks. Yeah. I am on a fat kick. Oh, I, <laughs> really? Yeah. I'm not. I, I'm not. Uh, not eating that well. <laughs> yeah. Oh. For sure. Like you know how like. When you're on a health kick and you look at fast food and it's like, oh man, how can they eat that? Like the greasy foods and stuff, you get like intolerant to that. I look at salads and like fresh things and I go, oh God, that's awful. I, that, that's where I'm at right now. So right. I need that slob eating that salad. I know. Yeah, 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 that's where I'm at right now. So I need to, I need to work on that. Mm. Do you guys get, get that way? Were you like, yes. Yeah. Just the other night. Uh, usually one, one night a week, I will uh, honestly, I'll fucking pig out. Like yeah. binge eat yeah. awful food. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you told us that you ate whole pints of Halo ice cream. Absolutely. Halo Before Halo, it was Ben and Jerry's over a thousand calories per pint. I remember. Who who eats less than a pint? Do you? <laughs> yes. You yeah. Eat, I, yeah. You eat sure. less, less? Oh, yeah. You have a pint. I think you, you know what it might be? It might be like a structural thing. Like you, you see it and it's like, oh, well, I have to finish this. Because well, it put looks this. like it's made for one person. It yeah, looks because yeah. it kind of is, mm -hmm. and it looks like it could be eaten in one sitting. But you're actually eating your whole day's worth of calories, yeah, and plus more in that pint, yeah, almost, almost the whole day. But seriously, you guys, you buy a Ben and Jerry's pint, you both don't eat the whole thing oh, in here. one sitting. I just don't buy Ben and Jerry's pints. Neither do I. <laughs> <laughs> I don't either. Well, <laughs> I don't think I don't remember the last time I bought ice cream. Yeah, I really don't. Yeah, Ryan's like, I, oh no, I gotta have, oh, I gotta have this. Oh yeah, I like, I like ice cream. I know, but ice cream to me is not something you keep in the house. It's something you go out and get. Like, I, let's go get ice cream. I don't keep it in the house either, bro. It's in the house for like five minutes, and then I finish that motherfucker. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah dude. Dude. ice cream. Uh, dude. Yeah, yeah dude. <laughs> Once I start eating poorly. I get on that uh, fat kick. Nice. Right. Yeah, that's where I'm at right now. Uh, I fluctuate though. I do. I have been on, on health kicks. And I, I don't want to get on. An, I want to get on another one. One I could just... say you're on a health kick right now because you're kicking health out the window. <laughs> nice, dude. That's I awesome. like that. Nice. We're getting better with the the sounds too. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I like that. Uh, thank you, Brandon. Of course. Um, I was. Uh, I had a. I was. I had this problem. This this fat problem. Mm -hmm. uh, when I was thirteen. Mm -hmm. I would eat a lot of food. Oh yeah, you're um, a big boy. You're a big, you're, big, you're a real, uh, real big boy. Yeah, big fat little boy. And I would just lay around all day, watch nothing but uh, Tarantino movies and SpongeBob. And I would uh, eat uh, pu uh, flaming hot Cheeto puffs. You ever have those? Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, I think so. I would so. have those and Little Debbie's uh, nutty bars. You ever Ooh, have those? Yeah, 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 yeah. And so I would eat. I would eat those in. That would just be my general diet and a pint. Not a pint. Uh, what would you call that uh, for soda? A liter. Liter of soda. Liter of cola? Every day. Wow. Yeah. Um, no, I was worse than both of you, but I was 13, so it's okay. Yeah. Yeah. I needed that to help my growth. That's why, I, that's why I'm... <laughs> to help six. your growth? Yeah. Like, you, you, like growth this way or growth like no, as a person? Upwards and uh, spiritually and mm. uh, like physically as well. Yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, so you, tell me, tell us about this new kick. Like, how did it start? Why did it start? Yeah, because where you, are you at right now? You have this thing, Vinny, where you go through like you're like a, a shapeshifter. Yeah, you really <laughs> you're like Christian Bale, but you don't act. We're like uh, okay. We're like one one week you're like really skinny and in shape, and then the next week you're Dick Cheney. Like it's so funny to me. Oh but god. But why does that? Why does that happen? Like uh, I don't know. I get. I just. I don't know. Like I start, I'm just like this uh, everyday normal human where I'm like, oh, I'm going to have, I'm going to be on a diet. And then I right. fall short and I disappoint myself. I guess that's it. I don't know. I mean, I just, it, it's, that's what I'm saying. I'm also not on a, a joke when I say that I'm on a fat kick where I'm like eating everything in sight that's like terrible. Mm -hmm. But I am, I am not like exercising regularly. I'm not like eating the best that I could be eating. So uh, just maybe I'm also probably saying it out loud because I know I need to change something. Mm -hmm. So like, like yeah, I'm 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 not do, I'm not doing too good. Accountability check. Accountability check. Yeah, kind of right. like an accountability check. Yep. Hey, it's time. It's time for um. It's it. It's not. It's, it's accountability, accountability check. check. So my accountability check is I am not eating 
uh, proper diet and exercising regularly. And I would like to formally say that I would like to start doing that. And I hold myself accountable. And yeah, I think that's it. That, that was, was an, an accountability account- check. Thanks. <laughs> yeah, I feel better. when uh, You know what? I love that because it, it just yeah. holds you you know, accountable and make sure that you're on the right path. And and the guys that are saying it sounds so nice. Yeah. Like, yeah. The, the little the little guys. I imagine they're like maybe like an inch tall. Mm-hmm. And you they're know. looking up. They're looking up. Hey, um. Yep. Yeah. And they're gentle. It's not like this mainstream, no days off. Yeah. It's not, yeah, like, it's yeah, not, yeah, like, yeah. It's not Joe Rogan saying, hey, bitch. Yeah. Eat right. It's more like. Soft. Uh, it's my, somewhere, somewhere more gentle. Yeah. Like, yeah. hey, would you. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. Hey. Um. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you look fat. <laughs> Can you work on that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, not, it's also not even that I look fat. It's just that I feel unhealthy. Like I'll wake up and I'm like, oh, I'm, t- I'm like yeah. extra tired, and you know, I'm like sluggish or whatever. Yeah. Um. But yeah, I mean, it's not like I'm like, oh, guys, I have, I'm very big, and I need to change. Yeah. It's like I just feel like shit. Like I, need, I know if I eat better, I'll feel better. One of the funniest things you ever told me was you were on a health kick. I was. You were on a. A really like positive, like I'm going to change my diet. <laughs> this is bad, yeah. And I'm going to exercise and all this stuff. And you're like, you were so strict about what you could and couldn't eat. Mm. Yes. I remember one day, well, maybe you take the story I'll, away from me. Yeah, I'll take the story away from you. Yeah. Uh, because my story to tell. It's yeah, not yeah. yours. To it's tell. not my story to tell. Yeah. You're totally right. So I was on a, I was on a health kick. This Time is, out. That was just really respectful. Yeah. 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 <laughs> I was, I was on a health kick, and I had t- uh, my girlfriend Jenny was was uh, she was wanting to eat Taco Bell, and I was like, oh, she's like, do you want anything? I was like, no, I'm fine. I'm, I'm honey, I'm really fine. It's okay. I don't want anything. And you know, she wants to take care of me, so she's like, she's like, okay, well, um, okay, that's fine. I won't get you anything. And so she orders something for herself, and then she, I'm sitting on the couch. She opens the bag and she goes, hey, I got you this, by the way. It was a burrito, and I got mad because I was like, I want the fucking burrito. I wanted yeah. to eat it, mm-hmm. but I also was pissed at her because she was she didn't listen to me. Yeah, she didn't listen. Yeah. <laughs> so I was like, okay, well, f- fuck you, right, yeah, for yeah. doing that because I said I didn't want anything and don't tempt me with a good time. Sure. I will eat it. Mm-hmm. So I got the burrito and I threw it across the room. Like I threw it <laughs> and I was like, I don't want this, and I threw it and it was still yes. wrapped. It was still wrapped, but I was like, I-, I want you so fucking bad, and I threw it. Yeah. yeah. And then she got upset, which naturally you do, because like yeah. I threw a burrito, right? Don't throw a burrito. Don't throw food across. The yeah, but it wasn't like I was wanting to make a mess. I was like, ah, nope, get out of here. I don't want to see. It was more. It wasn't uh, yeah. laden with aggression. It was just like, ah, get yeah. out of here. And so it's like to make a point to her. I was like, hey, listen to me. If I'm trying to tell you something that I don't want to eat, sure. Do you think she was like trying to like fuck with you a little bit or play or like? bust your ball no i think i think she felt bad eating alone oh, yeah. so it was, to it was, be honest it was genuine uh nurturing yeah effort. she was just like here have something i was like has her, her you know her parents and her like her family's like that's like hey you know just here eat, yeah. eat, eat. you know they want there's like a certain comfort to that especially right. like in mexican household it's like oh no eat 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 please um so yeah that's that's kind of what i think she was doing she's super, being super sweet about it but then i was like ah, Fuck. So I threw mm-hmm. the burrito, chucked the burrito. And then I don't think you know this, but at the very end of the night, um, she she got mad at me and she was like, Why did you do that? I was like, I, so I just tried to to own up to it and there was no excuse. I ended up throwing up the throwing the burrito away. But then I got so fucking hungry because <laughs> I didn't uh eat. So no. I got the burrito out of the trash. <laughs> Ah, yes. And I ate it, dude. I ate it. It was one, in my justification, it was still wrapped and it was a brand new trash bag. That's the only way I'll say that because I, you know, you don't reach into a... I've done that. Yeah? I've done that. You've eaten yeah. food out of the trash. Speaking I, of... Oh, I, go ahead. I've thrown my own food away and be like, no more. And then like three hours later, I'm like, mm, there's a there's a bag of pretzels in the trash. I think we need help. <laughs> <It's> crazy. <laughs> Guys, that's insane. It's, 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 I've never done... Okay, you don't want to know something? I did that. I know. I was about to point to you to that. I did that. I know. Okay. So I did that when I was in fifth grade. Uh, a lot of kids would throw away their lunches mm-hmm. because they would go get school lunch because their parents would pack them a lunch and they would rather have the lunch of the school provided. So I had my own lunch, but I would always dig in the trash and get out like peanut butter sandwiches and like pretzels. And I would do that all throughout lunch. That's way That's different. That's way worse, by That's the way. That's not worse. You don't want to know why it's not worse? Why? I was a child. I was a baby. I was a little kid. And I was were, like, I just want, I you, want some extra, you know, pretzels. Were you poor? You didn't, you didn't have money? No, my mom packed me a lunch. You were just really hungry. I just wanted more stuff. Okay. So eat. first of all, we threw it away in our own filth. It was you, our own food. You. 
dug into the public trash. Sure. But it, I was helping. It was like I didn't want them to be wasteful. I was recycling. Oh, so you were being you're being humanitarian yeah, about it. Yeah, yeah. Even at ten years old. Yeah. You know what? I thought that I thought you were being gross, but actually, he's being a really good kid. Mm -hmm. I was. Yeah. He's an environmentalist. Yeah. Mm. I was. I before any of this global warming bullshit. I was. I was the guy that was like, "Hey, yeah. we got to do something about this. We got to do something to stop this." And what better way? <laughs> Than eating food out of the school trash can. Yes, yeah, half eaten pop tarts out of the yeah. school's trash can. Yeah, they weren't even half eaten; they were full. They were full pop tarts. On behalf of Planet Earth, I thank you, mm -hmm. um, Vinny. How do we get you back off the fat kick or back into a health kick? Is what I'm trying to say. Uh, just, just discipline, and that's something that's got to come from me, nobody else. Now, let me ask you this: After dinner, you're hanging out, you're watching a movie with headphones on. Uh, do you get hungry at like 10 p.m. Oh, later on? Oh, for sure. Uh, me too. Me too. Yeah. That's like my worst thing. You know, I'll order food. You know, I'll do. Yeah. I'll go to the convenience store. get some fucking snacks. Of course. You know what I mean? Hold on. What, I got something to say. Popcorn. Ooh, popcorn. See, you, that's Jenny's fucking vice. This It's not a vice, bro. Get popcorn. Uh, slight, lightly salted. This is what I've been doing. I've lost like five pounds. Uh. <laughs> I get I get my cravings after dinner. Popcorn. <laughs> that was that was that popcorn. The sound of popcorn. <laughs> yeah. I thought I thought you were like about to make a point. So you're like, no, no. Oh. But try it out. Like instead of uh, getting uh, fucking going to the store, pop some popcorn. High in fiber, low in cows. You know what's funny? Is you go to the you, you can do that for weight loss. But if you go to the movie theater and get a big tub of popcorn. Yeah. 2,000 to 3,000 calories. Yeah, because of yeah, the butter yeah. and yeah. cholesterol oils gross, yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. So, not good. Uh, yeah. Sorry, I cut you off. Yeah, you were going to say something. Go ahead. Oh. You can speak now. Oh, okay. Um, no, I was just going to say maybe the good way to... You said discipline. Uh, we could chain up your refrigerator like they used to do for Marlon Brando because Marlon Brando had an eating disorder where he would eat nonstop, like all the time. That's why... In his later movies, he was a big fat fuck because he was morbidly obese because he wouldn't stop eating. He would oh. literally, there's a there's a story on, I don't know which movie it was, but he was on some movie and uh, they were chaining up the fridges for him. Really? Because he would keep eating and the, the, the role caused uh, was for him to be like a skinny guy. He was supposed to be really skinny, oh, wow. but he showed up to the set 300 pounds. So they were like, what do we do about this? But so they, they uh, obstructed a lot of his weight in... Uh, the lighting they made like lighting around him darker, but he would sneak out to the uh, to like an island close by to where they were shooting, uh -huh. and he was storing food there. And he would just he would paddle a boat out to that island wow. and just eat hot dogs and cheeseburgers. Really on the island. Now this wasn't the island of Doctor Moreau movie, was it? It might have been or Apocalypse Now. I don't I don't know which one. Oh wow! But it's just so funny. But, but what I'm saying is, for you know, someone like you, so uh, so. To chain up my fridge. That's... Chain up your fridge. Uh huh. What else could we do for you? We could give you one of those like dog muzzles, so you can't eat anything. Wow. Okay. Yeah, I mean, I'm down for. I think that's a good idea. That is a good idea. Maybe both. And take them on walks, exercise. <laughs> yeah. Treat you like you know, a dog. <laughs> we can start treating you like a dog like right now. Yeah, we yeah. could. Or I could go for a jog. Hey, Vinny, no, 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 no. Okay. Okay. Good boy. But in all seriousness. I support you on this health journey. Thanks. Um, so one thing that works for me, I try not to be too rigid. Because whenever I say like, boom, I'm healthy now. Yeah. Doesn't work. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. Po popcorn. Nice. All right. I, I, I'm going to be the uh, yin to his yang in a way. I'm going to be the devil on your shoulder and just say, keep eating. Just <laughs> keep fucking eating. You know why? Because I would love to just see you become a big gelat like a big yes fat fuck because you've never you've gotten puffy but you haven't gotten big yet okay i want to see it what do you mean yet you haven't gotten you haven't gotten like 400 pounds like just stumbling yeah. around. Oh, oh welcome to the podcast everyone my yeah. name is vincent yeah like, your fat is obstructing your vocal cords and yeah, making them sound yeah maybe I, I could do that the devil yeah. on your shoulders just like eat me <laughs> oh no oh what should i do i i have a a bowl of ice cream or I have a salad. Babe, please stop eating. You're, we've broken every bed that we've ever bought. No, well, I'm hungry, sweetheart, but I want to have a salad or I can have ice cream. Eat the ice cream. No, I don't want to. You want it.
No, no, I don't want it. I want to be. No, I, I want to be healthy, please. No, feel good now. Okay. <laughs> oh yes. Ooh. Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh, babe, please. Good boy. Oh, yes. Uh, so that's that's basically what we're. Yeah. That's, okay. That's cool. The... And now that you say what you just said, I'm actually on board with you getting to be a fat fuck. Sweet. <laughs> I think I think you could be the funny fat uh, friend. Yeah. Like you're not very likable right now. It's yeah. Because you're not fat. Okay. If you had some fatness to you. I think it would it would make you look jolly, and, and jolly like Santa Claus. Yeah. Like okay. a Hispanic Santa Claus. Mm. A Hispanic Claus. Yeah. Hispanic Claus. Yep. Mm. Good stuff. All right. Sounds good. <laughs> Appreciate I it. I, I almost just start drinking uh, vats of melted Neapolitan ice cream like Jared Leto did. <laughs> he it... did that for a movie that no one saw. Which um, which movie? Chapter thirty three or something. It was a movie that no one saw. He had to play a fat guy. And he was. They were just like, you just put on a fat suit. And he was like, I'll just gain all the weight. Like, really? Wow. So he he gained all that weight. Yeah, hundred pounds. Wow. And oh, he, the way he would do it is he would uh, melt vats of Neapolitan ice cream. He would uh, dump olive oil and soy sauce in it and blend it around and then just drink it each night. That's insane. I know. Oh, oh yeah. He's a bit of a bit of a kooky guy. Actually, yeah, I got a picture of Jared Leto. The movie's called Chapter 27. Got it. And yeah, he looks really likable. I think this this could be you, Vinny. Oh. Ooh. Yeah, more like uh, Jared Keto. Like Leto, you know what I mean? Or... Uh, okay, that's fair. Well, I was about to say, um, I was about to say, more like Jared let himself go. Hey. <laughs> All right, that's better. Yeah, th- thanks. thanks. More like Jared from Subway. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. That was good. Great stuff. All right. So, guys, how about that Johnny Depp trial? <laughs> Ooh, the case of Amber Turd. Oh yeah, dude. That's uh, that's that's been fun to watch. I am not very well informed about this. I know he's on trial. What's the consensus of the po- what? What does America think? So the consensus is the trial started off basically as. Johnny Depp is this horrible abuser, and he's lying, and he's just a bad guy. He's a cocaine-ridden, rage-fueled human. And Amber Heard was abused, and she's the victim. However, light of recent events, turns out, you know. Might not be the case. Might not be the case. Yeah. It might be actually the case that she was the one abusing him the entire time, Mm. and at the same time being like, he's hitting me publicly to ruin his career. Sure. Right. Okay. And, and so that's yeah. what the trial is. It's a defamation trial. Yes. Civil civil trial. Yes. And so she, because of all the allegations that came out, he lost Pirates of the Caribbean. He lost all this. He lost uh, Fantastic Beasts. He lost all his job opportunities while she continued to excel. So it's just a case of like, well, she now it is it is documented now that she did abuse him. So there, yeah, there's a uh, tape of her saying. Oh, yeah, Johnny, I didn't hit you. Sorry that I didn't hit you correctly with like a closed fist. Yes, I hit you, Johnny. And yes, I started a physical fight. And yes, and he's like, no, why did you do that? I don't want, I don't, this This is terrible, Amanda. This is, or this, Amanda, what's her name? Amber. Amber. He was like, no, this is terrible, Amber. You hit me in the face. I don't like, it's, why do you do that? And she goes, well, I, uh, you're, stop being a baby, Johnny. You're being yeah. a baby. So she was like, stop being such a baby. Maybe I won't hit you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so makes no sense. So that's, that's kind of what's going on. And it's revealed that she's been, there's a lot of inconsistencies in her stories and stuff. So while, and also Johnny's not completely innocent when it comes to like his, his rage or whatever, because there's, there's videos of him like slamming cabinets and like yelling mm. and stuff. So that's different than hitting. Yeah. Somebody, so though. there's, I don't think Johnny or anyone's really uh, disagreeing with the fact that Johnny had some role to play in it when it came to aggression and had and came to just the way he's handling everything uh, or he handled things he was he he would drink in the morning he did have he's admitted to drug use like cocaine but that's not why they're on trial so he's admitting to these things like dr- doing cocaine and mm-hmm. uh, drinking and and being angry but never hitting yeah. so that's like the the most important thing like yes he's like yes I was not good you know I was doing a lot of cocaine and yes and hearsay. Yeah, well, I saw I saw that clip. You saw that? Yeah. yeah. Did you guys see the clip of the the lawyer objecting to his own question? <laughs> no. <laughs> no, no. So there's a clip. Um, when you watch it, he asks he asks the question. The person defending, or he's like, "Yeah, I didn't. Uh, yeah, he was. I was told that there was some damage." And then the oh, the person who asked the question objected to the own question. And then you can see when when uh, he goes when the judge goes, 
you ask the fucking question. Yeah. And then the, and then he goes, you know, he, he looks down, shakes his head like, oh, man, I, and I, I fucked up. Yeah. And Johnny Depp is seen laughing. Like, he's like, oh, I'm, I'm going to win this because it's he's so very crazy. incompetent. But, yeah, go back like five, ten seconds, then play it. You didn't know what could cause damage to Mr. Depp's hand while you were there on March 8th, correct? Dr. Kipper told me he sustained an injury on uh, one of his well, fingers. Uh, rejection, here's, hearsay. Wait, you, you asked the question. Oh, oh. <laughs> okay. He said God, he dude. An injury to his finger. <laughs> dude, like, how do you object? You, dude, know. like, if you're a lawyer, if you're a lawyer and you ask a question and you object your own question <laughs> yeah that's bad yeah that's bad because it also exposes that that's your strategy like you just it's almost like second nature to object mm -hmm. so it's like oh it's a strategy oh so anytime all the times that you objected before it's like is that really was that a, were you really objecting right brandon it was you uh no it objection wasn't. hearsay <laughs> <laughs> that's pretty good yeah dude damn dude that's i wonder where do you think she got the lawyers like she, th those, those can't be like professional. Those must be friends of hers. No, they have, dude, it's no a way. high pro, it's a high profile, high profile. profile case. <laughs> That's a high profile defamation case. <laughs> it's a high profile defamation case. There has to, it's, it has to be. Maybe they just have nothing to work with. So they're like floundering. Sure. I don't know. I don't know. I, I think that's kind of what's happening. Uh, because it's, it's pretty unanimously like uh, agreed that Johnny is probably going to win this. Probably. It's a pretty uh, good shot. I think so. If he loses with this shit, then like the justice system is completely dead. And also the fact that she said, yeah, I started a physical fight, Johnny. I started a physical fight. And he goes, well, then I had to get the fuck away from you because, <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> well, yes, because you were throwing things. You were throwing things at me. You hurt my finger. Mm. And now this could be my, how uh, am I supposed to play guitar when I don't have a finger? Yeah, he's like, guitar is my favorite thing. Now, now he sounds like a Beatle. <laughs> he sounds like Ringo Starr. <laughs> he's like, how am I supposed to play, play guitar? guitar. Uh, this could be my education seeping in. That sounded really pretentious, but <laughs> I've been studying psychology, currently taking a domestic violence class. So as a comedian, I can tell that there's funny stuff in, within this trial, but then I'm thinking like, really what overpowers that is like, this is really sad for everybody. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. Like it just sucks. Yeah. Like, yeah. Amber, I don't know what her deal is. Maybe she's like mentally unwell. I don't I, know. I mean, she it, seems a bit uh, batshit. <laughs> she she does. I mean, you look at her in that case. She just like she like laughed at one point when uh, she's putting on a performance. Very clearly, she's just not a good actor. Mm. Johnny Depp's a better actor than she is, <laughs> so he's gonna win. <laughs> it's an act off. Yeah, no, it legitimately is. Like she's just like doing a pouty fit. She's just frowning the entire time. Yeah, and and Johnny is just like pulling out all the charm and like the Jack Sparrow, mm. and it's just like yeah, it's, it's a good it's a good voice by the way. Oh, well, Johnny, Johnny, do you mind if I try? can you uh, can I try it? You say sure. Something. Yeah, of course he didn't hurt my finger, Amber. It's it's very it hurt. He threw the bottle at me. Of course he did not. Yeah, it hurts. You threw the bottle at me. It's on Russian. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you threw the bottle at me. Was, Amber, I wanted, she's like, yeah, he's like, yeah, you did start a physical altercation. He's like, you started physical fights. You started it. Yeah, but what I'm saying is like, if Johnny, lo if he loses, it's just going to be insane. But then I started to think about if he does lose, he's going to have to start trying to work again because he's an actor. Yeah. You know, how's, he gonna make, how's he going to make money? Well, he lost Disney already. He, he lost, lost all this stuff. So Everything. So now... I imagine like what 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 is his audition audition process like? Now he's gonna try and like audition for a low budget thing like low maybe, budget. Yeah. <laughs> so like maybe like if they did a remake of the room, <laughs> like maybe he was like, oh, I did not, I did not hit her. It was bullshit. I did not hit her. I did not. And then and then, to, <laughs> and then Tommy would Tommy would just be like, okay, cut, Johnny, John. See, you got it all wrong, Johnny. See. You have to have big emotion like I did when I made this movie, okay, right, Johnny? Right. It's a big American movie, just like you used to make, Johnny. The yeah. Pirates of the Caribbean, Captain Jack Sparrow. These are big movies, Johnny. Yeah, so take it again. Okay, okay, here we go, Johnny. We're going to do a three, two, one, okay? Okay. Okay, three, two, one. Action. I did not hit her. I did not hit her. It's bullshit. I did not hit her. Cod, cod, Johnny. See, it's not... <laughs> Johnny, see, it doesn't work, Johnny. So why am I going to give you... I'm going to give you a water bottle, Johnny, okay? And you're going to take... What am I supposed gonna... to do? No, no, no bottles. <laughs> oh, that's bad. You can't do that. Oh, no. <laughs> no, dude, you can't. You can't. We can't... Yeah, man. But I'm just saying, like... He just has a phobia of bottles now. Yeah, I, dude, sucks. I would too, man. That sucks. Like, her, her just throwing a bottle. That's like a huge... And he's like, he's like, I look at my finger. It was severed to the bone. Yeah. 
All right, now what if it gets even worse? Johnny can't even get in movies, and he's auditioning for commercials. Um, mm. Okay, like uh, Allstate. That's Allstate stand. Are you in good hands? Yeah, that yeah, that's, that's bad. pretty good. Mm. Yeah, um, you know his voice actually sounds like Jack Sparrow. Like yeah, he yeah, yeah. is not too much. I think I don't think his voice was like that before though. I think after Pirates, he just kind of turned into that. Like his voice like mutated a little yeah. bit. Pepperidge Farm. You like goldfish? Everyone loves goldfish. <laughs> I love goldfish. I'm a man of the sea. Pepperidge Farm goldfish. Snack on something. I have no idea. <laughs> I have no idea. <laughs> uh, Nike, just do it. I didn't do it. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, Johnny, you're supposed to say just do it. Okay. Three, two, two, action. It was her fault. No, Johnny, Johnny, <laughs> Johnny. You have to take your emotions out of this, Johnny. We're just we're just advertising for the Super Bowl now. Okay. okay. So, so is it, what's, the, what's okay. the line? Three words. What's the line? Just three words. Just do it. Okay. That's it. Okay? You good? Yes. All right, here we go. Three, two, action. It was all her fault. God I didn't do anything. Damn it, Johnny. <laughs> uh, what about what about uh, McDonald's? Uh, I'm, loving I'm not it. loving it. I'm not loving the... No, Lose. Johnny, Johnny. I'm not. I'm not loving losing my jobs and losing my credibility. <laughs> no, job, Johnny, I'm Johnny, not, no. I'm not loving it at all. Johnny, what? As your agent, mm -hmm. we, you have done thirty auditions for big brands mm -hmm. for commercials. Yes, you've bombed every single one because you can't stop talking about the trial. It was her fault. That's no, why. It's we my, all I, know that. I hurt Johnny. my fingers, Johnny. Bad. Johnny, we all know that. Mm. But we we we're struggling right now. Mm. You're gonna sell your next house. Pretty soon you're gonna have to live with Doug Stanhope and your other friends. Yeah, yeah. So, so why don't Doug Stanhope's a good friend of mine? He is yeah. a good guy. <laughs> but see, but you know, you you went from a forty million dollar mansion to living in uh, uh, Boise, Idaho. Doug Stanhope and I may or may not have done cocaine. No, we may or may not have. Okay, I'm well, not saying I did you're, cocaine. You're not on trial right now, John. No, the trial not. ended a long time ago. Okay, no. so here, so now, all I want you to do. Mm. <laughs> Is just do McDonald's. Mm. You're not going to bring up the trial, right, John? Right, right, yeah. Okay, right, good, right. good. Okay. Okay, so the line is you sing, ba da ba ba ba, I'm loving it. Mm -hmm. That's all we need. Okay. Three, yeah. two, action. It was her fault. She did everything. <laughs> yeah, she did. Johnny. <laughs> Johnny. <laughs> Uh, poor Johnny. Honestly, dude, like, I, in all seriousness, we joke, but I, I, I do feel bad for, for him. Because, oh, yeah. Yeah, I mean, it sucks. Like you, he, he, what he famously said was, first, you know, at one moment you're on top of the world, and the next five seconds you're Quasimodo." Mm. It's like he was on top of the world. He had all his jobs, and then the allegations came out. I mean, people think you can get away with punching. Like it, it's like, especially like younger dudes, like twenty, early twenties, and stuff like that. It's like, oh yeah, well, I saw it in a movie. I'm gonna punch somebody. Well, yeah, but that's assault. You they, can get, you can go to jail for that. Not just that's assault. You could like every fight you get into, you're risking your life. Yep. Like if you get into a fight outside of a bar, you think it's gonna end like fucking I don't know. Whatever. Well, I was about to say Mortal Kombat, but probably, hopefully, not that. But you think it's gonna end like a movie, and it can end with one of you just having a seizure on the ground because mm -hmm. you you hit the wrong you yep. hit the nose upward if you hit the nose up that's what happened in con air yep <laughs> <laughs> put the bunny back in the box yeah <laughs> you could uh even just punch somebody and they fall back hit their head on the on the yeah hit and, the back of the head on the sidewalk boom right. they're dead you're going to jail that's right. uh yeah there's different levels of, of it too like if you of like murder it's like intention to commit murder like homicide then there's manslaughter Mm. Right, it's lesser. Like if you punch someone and they fall to the ground and they die, you're not going to go away for life. Right, you'll go away for a long time. But if you like intentionally kill someone, first degree. whatever, yeah, you you're going for a while. It's like all about intent, but yeah. still not okay. Basically, moral of the story is violence is icky. That yeah, that is the whole point of the it's story. Icky. It's icky, and yeah. uh, it's not it's not if you're in a relationship, it's don't do it on either side. Mm -hmm. That's it. And if you do, you might end up being memed to high heaven on TikTok, which is what's happening right now. Mm -hmm. Is so, it? Yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah, okay. you don't you don't really get on social media. No, not really. Took a big step back, and I've actually been thinking about this, mm -hmm. uh, especially being around you kiddos. Uh, sometimes I feel out of touch as fuck, and I wonder like, is this because I'm I'm being an old man? Like, you know how old men will be like, I used to walk to school 
through three three thousand miles of snow. Like, am I doing that type of shit? Yeah, it's like grandpa. That's why you don't have any legs anymore. You know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, or or am I being appropriately uh, naive or appropriately out of touch? Well, like, give us an example. Um, let's see. Yeah, I hate social media. I think it's poison, uh, and I have no idea what's going on. On TikTok, like hanging out with you guys, you'll like reference TikToks and then laugh and stuff. And, and my immediate thought is like, oh, they're stupid. Mm-hmm. But then I think, wait, maybe I'm old. Right. So what do you guys think? Is it is this old guy behavior, old man behavior of me to be like, social media is terrible? I think it's, there's a, as far as like when you age, there's like a rejection of the up and coming culture, mm-hmm. right? So it's like my, my, grandpa or whatever didn't understand video games and like tv a lot so maybe that's like where you're at where it's like i i, I reject yeah this this old tiktok thing it's not, mm, so maybe maybe that's it or you just have a pretty clear handle on what social media can do to the brain so you limit yourself i got that also got oh, i'm an addict so like if i start watching tiktok i ain't stopping i get it <laughs> um and then you take out a pint of uh yep. ice cream start right. eating that yep mm. um but also you guys are in the world. I think most 34-year-olds don't really give a fuck about TikTok. I'm saying most American males, 34 years of age. Well, you think about TikTok, though. Like, it's just it's just the new way of... It's like kind of taking over YouTube in a way because it's just short, digestible yeah. little videos. You can get your news there. You can figure mm-hmm. out stuff that's going on. Mm-hmm. Uh, Agreed. And I, I don't think it's just like... It can be used as that, too. It can be used as a way yeah. to get news, stay up to date with what's going on. Or just watching funny videos. I'm starting to think that what's happening with me with TikTok, it's appropriate. It's not old. It's not me being old. It's me being where I'm at. I'm 38. 38. I don't watch TikTok. But also, you know, you, you set limitations. I think if you're setting limitations because... I mean, look at look, look at Jason. Jason's what forty something, right? Yeah, he's Jason. he's a YouTuber. He's very in the know. That's his choice, though. Yeah, it's because he's a YouTuber. Yeah, and so our my my friend Jason Nash is who we're referring to. Yeah, uh, he's not our friend. Uh, he's our friend. He's all of our friends. Yeah, uh, that's who he's referring to. Yeah. So I mean, that's the thing too. It's like whatever you can also. What are you doing in your life? Set limits, limitations. It's like, well, you know what? I choose to not go on TikTok. However. There's some things that are on TikTok that are that are make for culturally relevant conversation. Some of some things. Mm-hmm. Like there's this, so, like so there's some guys, value when you guys reference TikTok stuff. It's important. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it, it is. Yeah, it is, you're right. It is a little silly. Like when like when we were all doing when me and Vinny were doing the WAP in the mirror and practicing our WAP. Yeah. Mm-hmm. That was important. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah, yeah. A lot of stuff happening with uh, celebrities, you know. Hey, something else happening. What's happening? Uh, Elon Musk is buying Twitter. No, he, yeah, he's he's buying it. it. No, he just bought it. Yeah. Just woke up and like, I'm going to buy Twitter. It's kind of crazy. You can be that rich. You can just wake up and be like, I'm going to buy that entire enterprise. Yeah, it's like he he was testing the waters. Like, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to own like 13%. Yeah. And then now he's like, it's mine. Ha ha. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. It's so I'm I'm on I I'm not an Elon fanboy, but I am like okay, I, I like what he's doing. He's doing some cool stuff. And like there's no there's no denying that he's a pioneer or whatever. But for him to go, you know what? That's mine now. Yeah. Yeah, that's mine. See that? Twitter? Ha. ha. Mon. <laughs> so that's a little weird to me. Mm. Yeah. For him well, to go like, yeah, like, you know. By the way, I have not been paying attention to this news news story. Why should I care about this? Well, you shouldn't because you're elderly. Mm-hmm. But mm, okay. you're on yawn your way out. You're on your on your way out. Uh, but most people should because because Elon's all about like free speech or whatever, mm-hmm. and like he's like he's like thought that Twitter wasn't like free speech because they would like block people that would yeah, uh, sure. be. You know, like alt right people or whatever. Yeah, would, 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 those people would be blocked and stuff, and okay. they they all left Twitter, and now it's just a it's just, it's very far left Twitter. You know that. Sure. Mm. So, oh. um, but yeah, no, I mean, he, his whole thing is that he's gonna he's he's gonna be a pioneer for free speech. Yeah, because there was a lot of there was a <laughs> I don't lot know. of because there was a lot of people that were saying things, and this I'm gonna touch on this real quickly, not go too deep into it. There's a lot of people that were saying things about COVID that were labeled as misinformation and they were kicked off the platform for being 
misinformation, mm-hmm. but turned out to be correct. Right, like it, so, like it being a hoax. Correct. Well, <laughs> yeah, no, yeah, not yeah. that, but just like no. certain elements of of COVID were like, hey, um, uh, I can't, vaccines I'm not, giving you five five G or whatever. Yeah, or I'm not like, whatever the, whatever it was. I'm not gonna like, get into it. Maybe bleach works to kill COVID. Yeah, yeah, that, yeah. that was that again. Not gonna get into it too much, but people were saying things. Scientists, even credible sources, were saying things about COVID, and they were getting banned from the platform. And, and it's like, why, right? So that's that's why I think he's want to be. He wants to fix that, or at least allow people to say things without taking away. Mm, right. If you're not violating, if, if, yeah, because there's like these fact checkers at Twitter who are like saying, "Hey, this is not," or they're they're policing speech. And it what and what's the scariest part is that some of these things, uh, granted, some of these things that sh- are, should not be said. Like there's a lot of misinformation out there. But if you're a credible source and you are saying something that is medically accurate, then you should be able to say it, right? right? So again, that's what I think he's coming on saying. You should be able to say stuff without being fear of being silenced. Sure. I, I would love it if Elon, you know, he bought Twitter. I am rooting for him to destroy it. Just get rid of fucking Twitter. I, it th- sucks. Th- it just makes people angry. It's terrible. <laughs> Fuck. Get rid of social media. No, 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 no. Well, so, okay, whoa, 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 my whoa, podcast whoa. only. I think that would be really funny if he bought it and was like, I'm going to delete it. I'm I'm, 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 <laughs> right, so um, first order of business, uh, goodbye. <laughs> right. That would be amazing. That would be hilarious. Yeah. That would be genuinely very funny because, I, I don't know. I just feel like, yeah, I mean, to Rise Point, yeah, everyone <laughs> everyone is. What? No, I just I just pictured, you know how like if uh, this this happened to me or just I can imagine, you know, when uh, p- parents get divorced yeah. and then they the mom brings in the new the new dad or oh, whatever the and he's like, and the dad's like you know I'm, I'm not trying to be your friend i'm not going to try and be your dad i just to want friend. to be your friend yeah, yeah it's like elon going in this i'm not trying to be your father you know i'm not going to replace everything i'm just I'm going to be your friend i just think it's kind of funny because you imagine the average twitter user as somebody that's just filled with rage mm. that wants to destroy anybody that has a differing opinion on either side yeah. of them and um you know, they're just in their room mm-hmm. one day. <laughs> like, you know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Like uh, they're in their room and they're just like, oh, I'm just so filled with rage. I just want to cancel something or be upset at something. I, I don't know how to get this rage out and I, I got to do something. And then he just hears a knock on the door. So, hey, hello. Um, hey, sport. <laughs> how are you? Who are you? Well, I'm Elon, your, your new father. Oh. Well, not, not your father. I'm, I want to be your friend. Oh. So your mom and I, we've been seeing each other for a while, sport. And... You know. My mom being Jack Dorsey. Correct. Yeah, got it. Yeah, right. Jack and I were seeing each other for a while. No? Yeah. So I uh, don't want to take the place of your father. I yeah. just want to be a friend. So. Uh, okay. Well, Elon, can you please get out of my room? Because I'm trying to cancel the Burger King right now. Oh, yeah. But first, you know, and you're with my, my new leadership, you're allowed to do that. Mm-hmm. So freedom of speech, critically important. <laughs> so, okay. Elon, uh, you're kind of weirding me out a little bit. I'm not going to lie. That's fine. Uh, would you like to play catch later? You want to have a catch? No, I don't want to play catch with you, Elon, because I, I eat the rich and I don't want to play with a scumbag billionaire like you because I am actually a Marxist. Well, I'm just trying to bond with you, son. Can I call you son? No, you can't call me son. You tweet whatever you want, right? <laughs> and you and I, we go on a fishing trip this weekend. Can we take your spaceship? <laughs> yeah, that's fine. Sure. <laughs> we'll take it, boys. Um, yeah, that's fine. <laughs> dinner's at seven. I don't want to go to dinner with you and I'm not going to call you dad. Well, that's fine. It was baby steps. Ha <laughs> ha. Baby steps. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, guys, um, I've got a rack. Ooh. A rise rack? I've got a rise rack. Each week or every once in a while, Rive gives racks. You get it. <laughs> <laughs> this week, my recommendation is The Haystack by Brandon Calvillo. Oh, my little novel that I wrote, huh? Yep. Brandon wrote a book. Cool. It's called The Haystack, and I suggest you read it. Oh, that's mm. cool, man. Thank you for recommending that. That's a good thing for you to do as a friend. That's of very nice. Of course. And I also recommend that you make an audiobook for it. Uh, I, I mean, I've been thinking about it. I don't know. I mean, I I kind of like the the idea of somebody just reading it and having to read it instead of having the option to get an audiobook. But, I disagree. I yeah. think you need an audiobook. And guess what, pal? Mm. I made one for you. Did you? Sure did. Oh, cool. Okay. Here it is. The Haystack by Brandon Calvillo. Author's note. Thank you for buying my book. I hope you enjoy reading it as much as I enjoyed writing it. Okay. Brandon. Uh, stop you right there. Yeah. Uh, I didn't write that author's note. That, that Just off the bat, I didn't write that. Hmm. No? No. 
That wasn't in there. That's mm. weird. I mean, Vinny, you're reading it right now. Do you see that? I don't see it. Ha, that's weird. I literally read verbatim what you wrote. So let's move on. Oh. Thank you for buying my book. I hope you're reading it as much as I enjoyed writing it. Brandon. Chapter one. When you look back in your life, there always seems to be one significant memory that stands out as the moment things really started to change. Stop. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> so, so uh, the novel, it's a story that's just like a, like a typical coming of age story. It's not a horror story. Like it seems like you're painting it to be. That's very, it sounds very scary. Yeah. It's not the scary book. No, no. That's the tone I was getting when I read it. <laughs> well, you're wrong because it's it's just the lighthearted coming of age story. I think art is subjective, so <laughs> I'm right. It's a horror book. Okay, it's a horror book. As <laughs> as the uh, as the author of the book, I'm letting you know you're you're wrong. But okay, say la vie. Let's move on. What does that mean? I think it means uh, that's life. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and also, say la vie. Yeah. Yeah. All right, okay. For me, it was this one day back when I was 11, or maybe 10, somewhere around there. It was raining out, so I was just hanging out in my room when my oldest brother Glenn walked in. His gorgeous glacier blue eyes were wide with excitement. Cut. What is Cut it. What's up, bud? That's not what's in the book. I, my but brother, the rain. The rain I, I added the rain. Okay. Also, does he have a doorbell to his room too? So. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> no, uh, no. The uh, the <laughs> the whole thing about my brother Glenn's glacier blue eyes. Yeah, I didn't. That's not in the book. That sounds weird because he's my brother. You know. No, I thought that's what you're going for. It's like a fucked up incestual horror novel. Not in any way. <laughs> Not in any way. It huh. was just supposed to be a light. Like, I mean, that, that, uh, I'm telling you, describing his eyes as glacier, gorgeous glacier blue, it's not in there. Your brother's gorgeous glacier blue eyes. Glacier glue eyes? Oops. <laughs> <laughs> glacier glue eyes? Yeah. Yeah. But well, that's, I'm just saying that that's, I feel like you come, are t taking this in a different direction than what's actually written on the page. Hey, say la vie. Oh, okay. Let's move on. What is it, Glenn? I asked. We found porn. <laughs> yeah, it's in Dad's room. Follow me, sexy. Whatever porn was, I wasn't sure I was ready Cut. for it. Wait, did he say? Did he say? That, did he say we found porn? Yeah. yeah, well, that is in the book. They do find porn, but saying "follow me, sexy" it, it's that's not it's not in the book, man. See. We, we found porn absolutely in the, in the book. The voice I read it in my head was like seductive, like, "Hey, we found porn." <laughs> yeah. I get that, and you know what? That's your right as the as the person consuming the the book to have that. But it's really weird what you're doing with this audiobook. I think it's weird that you wrote it like that. I I, <laughs> I didn't I didn't write it like that. It actually kind of comes off like that, though. Mm, no, yeah. it no, it doesn't. Yeah, we felt. Follow me, sexy. Whatever porn was, I wasn't sure I was ready for it. But the seriousness in his gorgeous, sparkling eyes made me worry that it was too important to miss out on. I followed him down to the basement where our middle brother Johnny was standing outside of Dad's room. He was nervously raking his fingers through his thick, beautiful brown hair. You gotta be quiet, okay? Johnny whispered. I don't know if he's in there uh, or not. Okay, um, <laughs> every aspect of the tone of this audiobook is spot just, on, just violently wrong. <laughs> it's, it's, it's actually kind of crazy. It's just them, they, they, it's just them going down to find porn in the uncle's room, and then that's, there's no thick, gorgeous, flowing hair. The, the, the character is not describing his brothers sexually. Mm, yes, he is. <laughs> <laughs> no, he isn't. You've got a twisted mind there, Calvio. I I really don't. I mean, it's not. I just want the people listening to this podcast to know that's not what's in the book. Hey, you know, they got to read it, I guess. Say lovey. Say lovey. What are we doing? I asked. J just be quiet, okay? Come on, man. I agreed to keep my mouth shut. I like when he tells me what to do. <laughs> Johnny spent the next 20 seconds trying to unlock the door with a bobby pin. 
I got the impression he didn't know what he was doing. Give it to me. Glenn whispered loudly, snatching the hairpin from his hand. It's wrong. It's not. It's just, I'm, I'm just going to give up on just okay. saying yeah. that things were I'm, wrong. I'm going to read it. <laughs> yeah. yeah, this is something I'm going to read. Actually, this is something I'm going to listen to. <laughs> oh, okay. oh, yeah. Right on. I should make a full full version of this. I I want you as far away from the audiobook version of this as possible. <laughs> yeah. I do. Good job on the audiobook. Thank yeah. you, man. Is and it okay? Is it is it almost over? Yep. I mean, we'll say la vie. Snatching the hairpin from his hand. Maybe ten seconds after he took over, the lock clicked. Open sesame. Ha <laughs> ha! Uh, you couldn't open it, Johnny. I hope you feel bad about that. <laughs> it looked like Johnny felt bad about that. I feel bad about that. <laughs> yeah, he felt bad about that. Moment I thought it was weird how Glenn was sexual, and then all of a sudden he wasn't. Yeah, I think it's weird too. Um, it's not in the book. Hey, I read what I read, dude. <laughs> Moments later, Glenn emerged with a dirty old cardboard box that seemed pretty heavy by the way he carried it. When we got upstairs to the living room, Glenn set it down then pulled out two VHS tapes. He was gazing at them all wide-eyed like he'd just found the Holy Grail. Oh my gosh, it's true. What's true, Glenn? <laughs> Gentlemen, start your engines. <laughs> Because guess what? There is a god. There is a god of porn. And he smiles down upon us. <laughs> <laughs> we found porn. This has been an audio experience brought to you by Steven from I'm Sorry Studios. Tune in next week for nothing because this took me too long. My back hurts. Good stuff, Brandon. Uh, Great book. Yeah, yeah dude. It's just, just so inaccurate to what is actually written in the book, but hey, it's okay. You know, it's all right. I enjoyed myself. As a listener, yeah. I was hooked, captivated, one would yeah. say. And, you know, that's just how I, that's just how I, the vibes I got from the book. Yeah. Got it. Got it. Okay. Well, that's just going to go out to everybody. So, yeah. Where can they, where can they get it? Yeah. <laughs> they can get it at, um, it's a site called masterlesspress.com, and uh, it's my publisher. And they can get it there, or they can go to the link in my bio and get it if they want. On all my platforms, TikTok, Instagram, all that. Dude, mm. quit fucking whoring your book out. You yeah. asked You asked me. You it's fucking like, slobby prostitute. Yeah. You give, you a, give you a little platform, and you decide to just go buck wild, huh? I'm really sorry. It's just that my book was just desecrated in front of me. Really? By, by a madman. That's... Some say de desecrated. Others would say amplified. Say something. Um, I'm really... Hearsay. Oh. <laughs> no, it's not hearsay. I didn't even ask the question. <laughs> no, it's just Jack Sparrow. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <clears throat> I really uh, enjoyed that audiobook. Really enjoyed that audiobook. All right, well, that's it for this episode. Yep. Make sure to rate and review because it really helps, guys, and thank you so much for listening. Uh, Yeah. Great. <laughs> <laughs> thanks, for, thanks for that addition. Uh, I am Vincent Marcus. Hey, wait. Are we on YouTube yet? Oh yeah, we are on YouTube actually. Yeah. Oh no shit. Yeah. Nice. How do how do I find it? <laughs> uh, find it by just typing in Stephen Podcast uh, and type in one of our names. So it's at Marcus Brandon Covio or right doing it should pop up. It's Sweet. Thing pops up. Yeah, we're on video on Spotify as well. All that good stuff. Uh, yeah, but yeah, again, uh, give us a rating and review. Give us five stars. It'll help us get exposure. Yep. It really does help. It yep. does help, yeah. Yep, so I'm Vincent Marcus. My name's Ry Dune. I'm Brandon Calvillo. And our podcast, podcast name is Steven. Steven. <laughs> <laughs> S-T-E-V-E-N. Steven. Steven. Steven.